If your carpet is ready to be replaced, you'll be happy to know you can remove it yourself in a few simple steps. First, here's a list of tools and materials you'll need. To get started, determine whether your carpet has a tack or tack strip installation. If it was installed with tacks, use a utility knife to cut a small square from one corner of the carpet. Pull the square free, then pull up the carpet beginning in that corner until it's free. If your carpet was installed with tack strips like we have here, First, use the pry bar to remove shoe moldings or other edgings. Use your utility knife to cut the carpet into thin strips. Be sure to cut through the backing without hitting the floor underneath. Pull carpet from the tack strips along each wall, rolling the pieces up as you go. Unless you're saving it for scrap, dispose of the rolled carpet in large garbage bags. Use your pry bar to lift and remove the tack strips all around the perimeter of the room. Once your carpet is up, it's time to remove the carpet pad. If the carpet pad was secured with staples, use pliers to pull them individually from the floor. If it was attached with adhesive, you may have to scrape it up or use a commercial adhesive remover. Removing a stained and time-worn carpet is a surprisingly easy task, even if you're new to DIY. Just follow these steps to get the job done. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot.